What is up, YouTube, and welcome to this American Horror Story Season 2, Episode 5, Review and Breakdown. We are back after last week's atrocious episode for a Bloody Mary episode, which was really, really good. I think that this was a strong entry in a strong season, despite last week's road bump. The opening is actually pretty scary, and the episode as a whole is pretty creepy, and could have been easily been made into a full-length horror movie, to be honest. Uh, I would like to see maybe anthology movies set in an AHS world. We cut to some girls at the start with the after the opening was absolutely harrowing, and they're discussing boys and start to play the Bloody Mary game. But come on, this always ends up in tears. It turns out one of the girls was scared and runs off. I mean, I don't blame her. It might be fake, but why even test it? They're convinced that Bloody Mary can tell them their future, and they all go to a different mirror. Bloody Mary's outfit looks super cool, played by Dominique Jackson, and they look at one of them and... Well, it looks like one of them are killed, but but they're not. They're told that if they do awful things, they will get their truest desires. And they even consider it when they get home, and their mum would rather nosh some guy off than see her kids. And the mum is a typical kind of deadbeat mum. Now, Lawrence is chastised for not dressing up for Spirit Week, and considers as a joke throwing the cheerleader captain off the pyramid, as if she did, she was promised of being in charge. Their physics teachers discuss their reflections and how older civilizations thought the reflections were portals to another world, which, yes, it turns out that that was actually what it was all about. They see Bloody Mary, which is chilling, and Lauren says how she heard of a Bloody Mary story before, convenient how she didn't tell them before they start playing. Bianca then sees her guidance counselor, who says that she needs to lean into her sob story to get into Yale, and he is actually kind of creepy. If she says that, well, he did awful things to her, she will get in to Yale. But none of them want to do the awful things. Bianca's sister investigates Bloody Mary and learns that the traditional vision of her was possibly a slave catcher. However, it wasn't. It turns out it was one of the slaves who was a priestess of Mama Watwa, the spirit God there. I apologise if I've pronounced that incorrectly. There is some precedent if of the, the slave catcher, though, in history. Max is next urged to by Bloody Mary to do what she was told to do, and is... Well, she doesn't. And Bianca is then threatened, and Selena was killed by Bloody Mary for not paralysing the cheer captain. This is all becoming real. Bianca is next, and they come up with the idea to smash the glass, and one of them even heads to the American History exhibit. Margaret Worth was the person who tricked people into a cabin, thinking it was an underground railroad type of thing, but she would actually send the slaves back to the South to get money. In the flashback, we see Bloody Mary, we've seen so far as one of the slave girls, and here in the show torture the well the margaret would torture the slaves and leave them to be captured but one of them was the wrong person to be captured one of the girls hacked into her ex-girlfriend ex is girlfriend's icloud and finds out she has a sex tape with another dude and she wants to leak it now what's interesting is that bianca's sister was the one who had to kill each one of these innocents and there's a reason why she wasn't urging them to do these awful things, because she needs to kill them before they did it, so she would get her heart's desires. The sisters plan to get the knife that the woman used, and Bianca distracts a guy as he's talking about colonizers. And this makes me kind of want an American horror story, or kind of a Native American story in the American horror story world. However, they get to the surviving friend, but she has been killed, up until now, we did not hear what Bianca's sister would need to do to get rich as they head to the creepy cabin and call Bloody Mary. It turns out that the sister had to kill each one of them and cut out their eyes. Bloody Mary didn't kill people. It was people, others, who did it for her. However, Bianca was the one who ended up killing her sister. Bloody Mary didn't kill the people. She just reflects truth back. And it turned out that Bloody Mary once, well... Once she's freed, 
she is replaced. Yep. We learn that she was a servant of Mami Wata, and finally, after seeing her reflection, remembers who she was and went off, killing the black girl who helped the slave hunters. And that means that, well, she should have tried to save one of her people, but she didn't. She was trapped in this mirror dimension world because, well, she couldn't have faced the the ancestors like that. She had to try and get herself free and wash her sins. Bianca is innocent, kind of. She did what she had to to survive, which means she has innocent blood. Using that, she thinks that freeing this woman would stop it all. Instead, she was replaced, and the cycle begins anew. This was a really, really good episode. Definitely one of the best across both seasons, in my opinion, so far. And I'd love to hear what you think down below in the comments. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.